for the ReCB, the best channel on YouTube. This weekend, I have been in Cardiff, exploring Wales' capital city in an incredible weekend, culminating in the largest wrestling event in UK history. This is the ReCB Adventures in Cardiff at WWE Clash at the Castle. Right, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, another adventure. The third one this year, which is uh, very surprising. I didn't think we'd be having another one, but here we are. This time, we're off to Cardiff. We're leaving in about an hour or so. It's going to be me and my friend James, who you may know from the Don't Go to Knoxville video I made like last year. If you watched that one, he did go to Knoxville, but then he came back, which is the important thing. And we're off to Cardiff this weekend. So here is the general itinerary. Today is Thursday. Today is just a day of travel. I've just finished work. We're going to head down soon. Tomorrow is Friday. Friday, in the bulk of the day, we're going to spend just kind of exploring Cardiff, seeing a lot of the sights. Should be good. In the evening, we are going to the Undertaker One Dead Man show, which I'm very hyped for. Then, it is Saturday. I'm not sure what we're doing in the morning of the Saturday, but the evening of the Saturday is WWE Clash in the Castle at the Principality Stadium, also known as the Millennium Stadium. I'll probably call it that because that's just what I've always known it as. So, that's extremely hype. Then Sunday, we're returning home. That's the itinerary for this video. I hope you will enjoy. I'm gonna go quickly have a shower before we go. I'll see you in a bit. We're on the road. Here we go. Yes. Look, it's the king's head. Oh, it's the king's head. And it's a giant. Hello there. Hey. <laughs> yes. We're on the road again. <laughs> Are you a bit excited there, James? Oh, yes, yes, I haven't been on the road for a long time. No. On a road trip. Right, James, you've got the sat nav there. Yes. How long is it going to take us? Three hours and ten minutes. It'll probably take us more than that because we're going to go for some food. Right. So, what time is it now? Six. So, it should. we should be there by nine, but we'll probably be there about ten. 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 Yeah. Three hours going, and um, James is well stocked because Look at all <laughs> this! He, he's got 50, what is it, 24 bottles of Pepsi Max and 24 yeah. bottles of water. Courtesy of our employer. Courtesy which of is definitely Bruce not a sponsor of no, this video. No, you definitely paid for it. Yes, I did. Yeah. Yes. Uh, James seems to think that we're going camping in the wilderness, <laughs> not in a hotel in no. the middle of a city centre. Well, the thing is, you can't buy little ones. <laughs> it's, it's all bulk buys. So, you know. It's plenty for after the weekend. <laughs> right, let's go! Welcome to England. Oh, James, we've gone the wrong way. <laughs> This is some traditional Welsh music, James.
we have just stopped to eat some food. Uh, we went to a lovely little beef eater place next to a Premier Inn. Uh, look at this, by the way. There's there's a Ferrari parked outside a Premier Inn. It's beautiful. It's Ferrari la Ferrari. That is someone who has their budgeting in order, in my opinion. Buy the Ferrari, stay in the Premier Inn. Yes. <laughs> so we stayed in the, we just ate some food in the beef eater. It was very nice. I had some chicken wings and a steak. James, didn't you have chicken goujons and a steak? Yes. It was very nice. You've just gone the wrong way, James. Uh, we can't turn that way. You told me so. Oh, okay. It is illegal. Oh. So we'll have to do a loop-de-loop -loop round the roundabout. Nice, okay. So we are now just going to Cardiff. No more stops. We've got about an hour and a quarter left till we get to our hotel which is a Ibis Budgets hotel, which I've never stayed in before. Have you ever stayed in an Ibis Budget? I've seen them around, I've never, uh, never been stayed in uh, It cannot be worse than our hotel in London. No, that was awful. Uh, we, we went to the NXT UK show in the Royal Albert Hall. Of which that experience, the whole experience was a positive experience. Yeah, that was a great show. Yes. Yeah, so the NXT UK show in the Royal Albert Hall a few years ago and to for you to fully understand what kind of hotel this was in terms of seediness one day goodbye everybody <laughs> <laughs> and good night oh, we're back we're back um uh, one, one day. <laughs> I just turned my light off. Sorry. I'm in the middle it, of a story. It, it was an autom <laughs> automatic judgment call. I don't want it. The story will be over soon. Uh, one day. <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> Sorry, I'm telling the people the story of our time in London. God damn it. So, one day we're coming back to this hotel in London and it was a very very cheap place and we got it very very last minute because there was just nowhere else for us to stay and we're coming back one day and we see these two businessmen walk out of the hotel and it looked like they had like loads of money so we're like what the hell are those two men doing in this extremely cheap hotel and then right behind them were four prostitutes so we <laughs> That's kind of the idea of what this hotel was. There was also, uh, there was like a communal kitchen place where I've never seen more flies in my entire life. Yes. And there was also a shared toilet thing. I had a shower in there. I think I, yeah, I did too. It wasn't, I felt dirtier after the shower. Yeah, it wasn't a pleasant experience. No, saying. no, it wasn't great. Um, the hotel we've got now is probably a lot better, but it does say on the description separate toilets, which to me means shared toilets. Yeah, yeah. So I, I think it's going to be a shared toilet situation. But the thing was, as soon as we bought tickets for this show, just every hotel in Cardiff was just gone. Yes, so, instantly. Yeah. Just like, whoop! I mean, I'm kind of glad that we did get a chain hotel rather than staying in the middle of nowhere. Yes. So, I'm quite happy about that. So, now it is an hour and ten minutes, and we will be in the capital city of Wales, Cardiff, also known as Caerdydd. 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 Croeso i Caerdydd a Nostar. We have arrived in Cardiff. We made it. It's currently about 10 to 11 oh. there. James, a quick review of Cardiff's road system. Fucking awful. <laughs> <laughs> Not happy at all. It's put me in a foul mood. <laughs> Cardiff, sort your shit out. <laughs> right, well, we're gonna go to the hotel. See you in the morning, goodbye! Bon 
alle da. Kreuzo. Kreuzo E. Uh, Ibis Budget and Kyr Dave. Kyr Dave. Dream High Boita Keeg and Dream Vin Vim and Hothi Boita Puscod. You don't eat fish. I don't eat fish. He doesn't eat fish. Right, welcome to the hotel. This is very disappointing because I bought you lots of fish. Oh, well, it's not disappointing for the fish. Yeah, they're dead. They're dead. Save the fish. Um, so this is the hotel, and I can officially reveal separate toilets does not mean shared toilets. Woo! Look at that toilet there in our lovely budget hotel. Right, so today we're going to set off in a minute, we're going to go down to Cardiff Bay, have some brekkie, then what have we got planned for the rest of the day? We want to go to the WWE Superstore at some point, we want to go to Cardiff Castle, we want to just have a lovely time. Uh, we've also got The Undertaker show later on tonight, which we're both very excited for. Uh, James has just had a shower. James, review of the shower? Shut. Okay, thank you James for the review of the shower. <laughs> right. Let's try and make a move. Come on! Right, so if you've been watching the channel for a while now, uh, you may have seen the Iceland vlog, where I... Am... <laughs> Thank you, James. Where I arrived in a little town called Selfoss, and I arrived there in the middle of the night, so we checked into the hotel in the middle of the night, and we couldn't really see anything. And the next morning, we woke up and found out that Selfoss was the most beautiful place in the universe. I'll cut in a clip here. The sun's just come up, and... What I found out is it just so happens that the view from my bedroom window is of the most beautiful place in the universe. I couldn't see us all last night as it was dark, but take a look at this. mountain seems to just come out of nowhere. <laughs> well, you'll never guess what. We arrived in Cardiff last night in the middle of the night. We checked into the hotel in the middle of the night and we couldn't see anything. And this morning we've opened up the curtains and there's two car parks, which... Uh... Cocks? Cocks! Car parks! Also, this car park here, which is empty, uh, we were told was completely full and we couldn't park here, so we had to park in a car park which was a 15 minute walk away. So that's great. Great start so far. It's a fantastic start for the day. Yes, uh, but we're going to have breakfast soon and that'll be great. Woo! Let's go! So we've come to a Weatherspoon for breakfast. James. Yes. Can you tell the lovely people about my nightmare last night? <laughs> well, you woke up about ten past one. I'd just put my phone away, lying down, and suddenly. James! James! Somebody's stolen all our stuff. <laughs> no, they haven't. <laughs> um, I, I had a dream that someone had broken into our room and stolen all our things, and I thought it was real, so I sat up in the middle of the night and uh, terrified James. Yeah. So, uh, good night's sleep overall, yes? Yeah, well, I'd, I'd broken sleep. <sighs> but I think that was because of the bed. Yes, maybe. The hotel's alright, but it is budget, so you get what you pay for, I guess. Right, let's have some bloody brekkie. After breakfast, we headed into beautiful Cardiff Bay. As massive Doctor Who nerds that we are, being in Cardiff is pretty special because there's lots of Doctor Who places, such as that Cadwallader's ice cream place over there. We are pretty sure is a place I'm, where... I'm not pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I think it is a place where the Doctor went for tea in Boomtown. Yes. That's what I think. 
I will now. Very much been the case. I'll Google it and have a look. But I'm, I think it is. Turns out it wasn't that one. It was actually the one right behind me on this shot here whilst I'm talking about the wrong one. Sorry about that. A more recognisable Doctor Who filming location is the Water Tower in Roald Dahl Plass, which was used as the Rift in Doctor Who and also one of the entrances to the secret Torchwood facility in the Doctor Who spin-off show Torchwood. A short walk from the Rift is Yanto's Shrine, a shrine remembering fictional character Yanto Jones from the show Torchwood. decided to leave Cardiff Bay and make our way into the city centre. But we weren't going to do it by taxi or walking, we decided instead to take a boat. This gave us a fantastic view of the Principality Stadium where Clash at the Castle would be held the next day. And then we made our way into the shopping centre where we found the pop-up WWE Superstore. James, do you, do, you the, do you want the Clash of the Castle dragon? I do want it, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to carry it around though. Then it was off to Cardiff Castle, which featured the Undertaker experience. Featuring ring worn attires an urn, and even an Undertaker throne for you to sit on and look really cool. James, what did you get from the WWE Superstore? What have you got? Not the piece of paper. Come on, James, show us the haul. Not the receipt. Come on, James, show us the haul. Oh, not the bag. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Happy? Happy. Wonderful. Be wearing it tomorrow. Great. For the stadium show at the Principality. Cool. Right, now for my haul. Right, so here is my haul. Uh, I've got uh, two Clash of the Castle t-shirts. Actually, there's that one and that one. I like both of them. And then I got a Undertaker One Dead Man Show t-shirt, which is pretty cool. You know, these are just the shows that we're going to this week, so I thought, get a lovely t-shirt of them to remember at the time we had. The thing about these massive superstores is that they are so full of stuff, and the most important thing to remember is a lot of the stuff you don't actually need, it's just kind of funny, I guess, to have. So my number one tip is don't spend money on, on things you don't need. That's the number one tip. If there's something you see, you think, oh, that might be funny to buy. Sometimes you just don't need it. Only buy the things that you really want from these shops. Do you agree, James? Very mysterious, that. I had 16 surgeries on my left knee. <laughs> <laughs> right, I am very yellow if this is this camera is correct, but I'm not yellow in real life, I promise. And we've just got in from The Undertaker 
one dead man show. James, thoughts? Um, we had to put our phones in these special little bags which had magnetic locks on them so we couldn't get them whilst we're in the show. Not that I would record the show anyway. Uh, I might get a cheeky photo at the end but obviously we weren't allowed because they were in these bags. I'm not going to talk about what he talked about directly because I really just think you should go and see the show. I just found it so hard to understand that I was in the same room as him. Were you the same, James? Yes, yes, I have to blink. <laughs> it was just mental. I was just looking at it going, that's the, that's the bloody undertaker there. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and, then, and, then, and then my brain like reset and went, that's the undertaker there. Yeah. And then, and then did it again. Yeah. And the show starts off. And the curtain just rises as his entrance music plays. Yes. And you just see the back of him, don't you? He's yes. just standing backwards. I have never seen a theatre give a standing ovation for the back of someone's head before. Mm-hmm. It was insane. And then, you know, Undertaker's got jokes. Oh, he's, yeah. He's really funny. He's funny. He's, 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 he's good at hecklers. Well, you'd expect that. And yes, there was a lot they, of hecklers. There was a lot. Of and they were dickheads. Yes. Don't heckle in shows unless it's part of the show. Because we don't want to hear you. We didn't pay to see you. But yeah, he was utterly fantastic. Beautiful. Beautiful man. Told incredible stories. Was really funny. I mean, it was worth it. If he had just stood there with the entrance music playing and then walked off, I would have gone, great show. Really loved it, yeah. but yeah, if it if it comes to a place near you, you should definitely go. Yes. Somewhere like Warrington. Not Warrington. The Undertaker's not going to Warrington. Why not? Because it's shit. Sorry, people of Warrington. Oh, it's got a nice IKEA though. It has got a nice IKEA. You're right. Yeah, there aren't really words to describe how good that was. And that is but a taste of what's to come, because tomorrow morning is Clash of the Castle, which should be fantastic. So... Oh. Yeah? You suck. Oh, thank you very much. Um, after the show, uh, we went to this random hotel and had a drink in their bar. I don't know if we were supposed to be there, but it was a lovely little drink. Yeah, yeah. And now... Oh, and then now, we ran away. We ran away and we got some lovely bottled still water. Yeah, oh, I'm yes. quite now, actually. Oh, well, I said before, do you want some snacks? And you're like, no. I'm, I'm like, the KFC down the road. There's a KFC down the road? Yeah. Is it open? I'll have, uh, well, there's two of them. There's two KFCs. I'm, you know, I don't think the people at home are interested in this. We'll leave them now. Uh, see you in the morning for Clash of the Castle. Goodbye. We got the KFC. Also, I was the Reese's Pieces on Cultaholic uh, Wrestling Podcast this week. I'll cut in a clip here of a great moment. Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces, Reese's Pieces. Fastest thought first. All right, so Jack Ross, myself, best Welsh poet, Dylan <laughs> Thomas, or Ryan Giggs. <laughs> I'll have to go for. Well, we can end it there I'll then. Really, for, I'll have to go for Dylan Thomas. There, I'm afraid. I don't think Dylan Thomas ever used the phrase <laughs> tent pole. In <laughs> it's Ryan Giggs, obviously. Dylan Thomas, moving on. Lots of love from former Wrexham and Manchester City goalkeeper Andy Dibble, a.k.a. Reese R. Ah, from Wrexham. That's why he picked ah, ah, Makes sense you, in the end. And it was Reese's Pieces. That's yeah. what he did at the Bloody start. Hell. Hell. That AKA, half an hour ago when it started, he put them yeah, yeah. <laughs> A.k.a. the guy who bought Ross's clothes. Yes, I auctioned my clothes off and he got the, uh, I think it was the one, the cord, which was blue with yellow smiley faces on. Oh, was that during the uh, drip period? Yeah, during the drip period. Ah, very nice. Yeah. Now I'll see you in the morning, for real this time. Hello, this is Editing Reese here, currently editing the video that you are watching as of right now. Uh, Yes, coming up with a content warning. Firstly, in the next few clips, especially in the stadium, there's going to be flashing lights. So if you don't 
like flashing lights, I avoid, I would recommend avoiding the next few clips. Secondly, uh, the next few clips also have me singing in them. And while day to day I may have a voice equivalent to that of peak Pavarotti, uh, I had not trained my voice correctly, or warmed it up, I might say, correctly uh, before this show. So it actually sounds awful. Um, so if you do not like awful singing, and you find it as cringy as I do listening back to this, I also recommend avoiding the next few clips. Uh, but if your final flashing lights and my awful, awful singing, which I can only apologise for, then please continue at your own risk. Thank you. Back to the, the vlog. Hello and welcome to Clash at the Castle Day! <laughs> right, we are all changed. I've got Ross's shirt on from the video where I bought Ross's oh, shirt. Yes. It's very fashionable. I've got me Big Daddy Claymore t-shirt on to support Big Drew in his match tonight. James is wearing official Clash at the, Cas Clash at the Castle attire. Looking great. We're going to go get an Uber in a second and we're going to go to Clash of the Castle. Now I'm not going to take the GoPro with me, I'm going to be recording on the phone. So if there is a drop in quality of the video, uh, I don't think there should be. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, think there yeah. should be, but we should be fine. Oh, we'll see you there.
here comes the star of the show, James. Yes! Liv. All these people have come to see Liv Morgan win.
Paulo Sokoa. Oh, no. No, 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 no. One, two. So we've just got in from Clash of the Castle. Um, there's James. James' opinions on Clash of the Castle. Clash was really good, actually. Um, as you can hear from my voice, it's. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can I swear? Uh, don't go to. You've already sworn quite a lot in this vlog. Uh, All right. Well, it's <laughs> fucked. <laughs> Uh, mine is also gone, but not as bad as yours. Right. Yours was gone before the show even started. I don't really know why. Which I don't understand at all. Mm. But yeah, um, we've just got in. Uh, we've been for a few drinks. Here is my top tip from this weekend. If you're in a very populated city or a very popular city, maybe for an event like this, and no, afterwards. Don't give away our tips because they'll get busier. No, I think I think no, we can. No, 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 no. We can trust the subscribers no, of the channel. No, no, no. I think as you gain more subscribers, more people will see this video, and uh, unfortunately, see the tips. He's, well, I'm gonna say anyway. Don't go to bars for drinks. Go to hotels and pretend that you have a room there. Because that's what we've done for the last two nights and had a lovely little seated area and had a drink and it was wonderful. <coughs> right, so Clash, overall, I thought very positive show. The crowd was absolutely incredible and I loved being part of that crowd. Uh, very, And like, if we go online and everyone's just talking about how great the crowd was and it really was. 62,000 people is what they reported, if that number is correct. Well, I guess we'll have to wait and see, but let's say 62,000 for now. Dave Big Mel Dave will go, actually it was five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it was five. It was five right? people. But anyway, that was the biggest crowd I've ever been part of for anything, no matter how big the number was. Because, uh, yeah, there was a lot of people there. And when it was like, when there was chants and stuff, it felt like the waves of sound, mm. and you'd hear it like coming closer and closer and closer to you. It was unbelievable. Um, everyone singing Edge's theme was great because I was singing Edge's theme anyway because I love it and I've made a video on it, it's on the channel now. Then everyone else joined in as well, which was always great to hear. Um, let's talk about the main event. It was great. I absolutely loved that match. 
so much. I have no idea if it's a good match or not, because my main thought is the crowd was so behind Drew and so anti-Roman that that whole connection of the crowd and the match made it great. If you take the crowd away, is that a great match? I don't know. Do I think uh, Drew should have won? I think Drew is in Drew on that night was the most I I get behind someone beating Roman on this run so far. But I you know, it wasn't meant to be. I think it's becoming painfully obvious now that the only person who's beating him is Cody Rhodes at WrestleMania. Whenever that happens, probably uh, next year. Uh, the rest of the card, other great matches. Riddle and Rollins, absolutely fantastic that match. Uh, it looked like Rollins got a little bit snug on the curb stop and um, knocked a bit of Riddle's skull out of his head or whatever. Uh, Sheamus and Gunther, fantastic. Uh, that felt to me like some kind of passing of the torch match of here's the guy who beats the hell out of someone and now here's the new guy who beats the hell out of people and Sheamus finally getting that kind of recognition and respect I feel for a lot of his career he didn't get the respect he deserved people never held him to that high regard until the last few years I always thought he was fantastic I always loved him I, I thought he was great I think his world heavyweight title run is massively underrated um, but yeah, when he was stood in the ring at the end, getting a standing ovation from the crowd, you could tell on his face how much it meant to him, and it was great. Um, other matches on the show, the six woman tag I thought was good, but I didn't think it should have opened the show, and I didn't really connect with it as much as I would have liked to. Liv and Shayna I thought was very good, but the crowd had dipped down a little bit from um, the match before, which was Sheamus and Gunther. Then there was the tag team match, Edge and Ray versus Finn and uh, Damian Priest, which I really enjoyed. It was great to see Edge, really. I'd never seen him before. Great to see Ray. And Dominic finally did something interesting, which was good. Um, is that all the matches? Have I forgotten anything? Uh, Riddle and so. I said Riddle and so. I think that's everything. Right, so James, what's the match of the night for you? Uh, match of the night, probably Gunther and Sheamus. Gunther and Sheamus match of the night? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Uh, although, I think, oh, I don't know. It's close between Gunther and Sheamus and um, Roman and Drew, because Drew, uh, uh, Drew and Roman, both played to the crowd very mm. well, yeah. you know, yeah. and reacted to the crowd very well mm. as well. So I think because of the crowd reacting the way they did, elevated the match mm. massively. Yeah, I I would say Roman Drew was match of the night, and I'd put um, Riddle and Rollins second. I think over Gunther and Sheamus, but it's very close, very close indeed. Right, we're going to eat some food, and then we're going to go to bed, because tomorrow morning we drive home. Whoa. See you in the morning.
So we have uh, just got back from Cardiff, back home now uh, from what has been an absolutely incredible weekend. One of the best ever. Absolutely loved it. The only way it could be improved is if Max was to happen wins this afternoon. So here's hoping for that. Because for the second year running here at Zandvoort, Max Verstappen wins the Dutch Grand Prix! Yeah.